hi guys welcome to my youtube channel okay if you're new here thank you so much for dropping by don't go come back come back press red button subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel help my small community to grow please don't go without subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video and if you're already with me thank you so much for coming back thank you for always being a consistent one thank you for growing this channel to what it is today with me i really do appreciate you and do not take you for granted <laughs> okay so i just um want to talk about how no is not a negative answer no it's not a negative answer some point at some time saying no or having no sometimes is a positive answer people don't always get this and that's why we have lots of people who has let the nose in their life set them down and then it has actually put them in a place of not moving forward when you have a no in your life it's just you knowing that something better is in store for you i'm a huge believer of god i'm all for god at any point in time i believe in god I believe in jesus christ and the fact that grace actually is real and then the grace of god flows in my life every single time so if you're one person that when people ask you oh what's your plan what's the next plan do you have anything in store blah 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 and then you don't have an answer trust me we are both in the same whatsapp group because i'm that kind of person that i usually don't have like i usually don't have like not like i don't have goals but some people are very detailed. They, they have their goals set out and then they achieve it like blast, 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 blast. As for me, I just follow God and then I let it be. And then sometimes people make you look at, oh, you don't have goals. You don't have a long-term plan. You don't, you're not living. I might be wrong, but our race is not the same. And some of us just don't have that push to have five, ten years goals to move on, right? But one thing that you should never do is to be lazy don't be lazy never give up on yourself and try to think i think one of the problems that we have as human beings is that we don't think we don't think of things that we can do to make us better we just think that everything should be for us on a plate of gold but then you have to think you have to do research you have to study you have to network to make things work for you yes i'm not the kind of person that have five year plan 10 years plan 15 years plan even two year plan sometimes all i know is that at some point i want this to happen for me and honestly like i once told my friend when things about to happen for me i get to have the feeling of okay i need to start doing this and i start to pray about it and somehow somehow the opportunity will just open and it's just happened for me so i'm not the kind of person that keeps a diary and writes okay in the next five years i want to be this i've tried it before and trust me it just made me put myself under unnecessary pressure because when it was not happening i was like okay i'm not so good enough i'm not this i'm not that so if you're that kind of person you're like me please take it easy on yourself don't be too hard on yourself we plan but then it's only god that can make all our plans come to pass right so you have to just to me what i tell people just follow god and don't be lazy yes god's going to make things work for you but that's when you also on your path you're doing something so um let's give for example while i was in school almost everybody had things they want to do after school okay yeah i want to do this i want to do that i want to learn baking i want to learn how to sew i want to have my business i want to go into photography i want to go into mass communication da, 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 da. and when it came to me i didn't have something i actually wanted to do i was just like hmm, all right whatever life throws at me i was right and i was wrong right I didn't put myself under any kind of pressure but at the same time that statement can actually put me in a box whatever god wants for me when i'm not doing things and when i'm not praying i can never know what god wants for me right so what i did was i was praying fervently and at the same time i was putting my ears down and i was open-minded to opportunities that would come so my sister told me okay you should try radio i have some friends i can call i'm like okay fine that's good and my best friend came and said oh there's an internship thing that she's doing i'm like oh internship what does it entail 
I made my findings in my research and I had a CV and I started put it out and I started doing things. I started applying for internships and it came through. So the radio thing came through and internship thing came through and I was opportuned to have something doing even before NYSC, right? I'm so hard to my CV. So I'm not the type I have plans and goals, long-term plans and goals, but I'm open-minded and I'm ready for opportunity that comes my way. Trust me, these opportunities were not paying me in six figures. It was paying me in fact to be open. I was earning 20k doing two things. I wasn't being paid at the radio station, and then the internship I was doing as paying I was earning 20k and I then that was 2016-2017. I was lucky enough to have someone that housed me, so I wasn't paying rent, but I was feeding myself, and that 20k will fell on that transportation, feeding, all of that. And it wasn't easy, but that's one time of my life that I lived on a budget. But trust me, baby girl was eating. Every Sunday and Saturday is my market days. And whatever I buy on Saturday and Sunday, what I'm going to eat for the entire week. I didn't have that luxury of like, buying something outside. Even up to water. When I buy a bag of water for myself, I'm going to drink that all through the week and all of that. And that was how my life was before NYC. So NYC came... All I knew was that I didn't want to go back to where I was interning before NYSC. And I started searching for better places that would further grow me. I knew that I wanted to, you know, have experience. I didn't know what I wanted to do after school. If I was going to go into admin, HR, logistics, if I was going to go into um, um, presenting or whatever. I didn't have that in mind. All I knew was that I wanted a career. And that's it. I just made sure I was open to opportunities. And that's it. So you don't have to have... What I'm trying to say, all this is my story, is that you don't have to have all things planned out. But you have to be open-minded and then be ready to grab any opportunity that comes your way. Yes, you're going to get a lot of no's. I've gotten a whole lot of no's. Trust me. So many times, people tell me no. Like, I've gotten, like three nodes that literally broke me one of them was where i was serving i was hoping they were going to um retain me there was promises and whatnot and i was there i remember i stayed two months after youth service i was there and they paid me from their requisition whatever can't remember what it's called and i was really hoping this was going to work and whatnot and eventually new management came in and they didn't want me and they let me go it was like a bad day for me. I remember I came home, I cried my eyes out. I took a walk, but one thing I never stopped doing was praying, right? And then the second one I got was the first INGO that actually called me for an internship, like interview. It was like, this is it. Yes, I have it. I went in with my A game, did the interview. They were so friendly with me. In fact, one of the HR even got my number. And then she was like, I like the way you, uh, you I like your team uh, your team spirit and i really love on the team that's actually a positive statement that made me think okay yeah this is it and a week after i got a no email i was broken i didn't cry for that one i didn't cry for that one because i think the woman's statement already made me feel like okay i'm good for this role so even when it didn't come i knew that okay i'm not a bad market <laughs> then another one that really got to me was this German NGO. I'd already got, gone for the interview. I won't go deep into details because something might be misconstrued by people that might, also, might see this video. So I won't go into that one. But I'd done this first interview, gone through the first stage, gone through the second stage. And that was like my last hope because I was jobless. I was staying alone at this time. Because after youth service, I got my own place in my friend, my best friend. And this thing was not like it was like the only i didn't care if they're going to pay me 50,000 or 20 or 30. all i wanted was extra extra um, opportunity on my cv extra all i wanted was an international opportunity that i can put on my cv that will open more doors for me right and do something because i was beginning to stay at home alone a lot and you know and i do mind is obviously a dev workshop trust me <laughs> Yeah, so it was like my last hope and it was more like if this doesn't come to come to fruition and that is the end of me. And on this faithful day, I got an email saying, yeah, sorry, we regret to inform you, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I cried. This one, I actually like 
I didn't cry in front of people. I just took a walk and I cried my eyes out. Legit. Like I cried my eyes out. And that's it. And I just knew that at this point, I just have to keep trying. I can't I can't afford to fail myself or give up on God or myself because if I do, I'm losing out either ways. So I started just I just continued to um push and then I want I knew I wanted like an international um opportunity. So I started an NGO by myself. I I didn't mean for it to be an NGO. I just figured okay, since I want to work in a non profit organization, why don't I just start doing some things <clears throat> sorry with my friends? And I could actually find a way to coin this in my, in my CV, right? So there's no gap in my CV. So I start this thing with my friends. We go to um, orphanage home and then we just um, give to them something. The first actually that we had was taking part on orphanage home. I'm going to post a picture for you guys to see. And it was really interesting. And I figured, okay, I shouldn't stop here. Let's just start doing something. I opened an Instagram page. I got more of people to join, to volunteer for the course. And then continue. And boom, by the special grace of God, I got my first appointment letter in an international organization, which is an INGO. So, yeah. And that happened. And three months down the internship at that organization, I just felt the need that I wanted more. So, and I said applying again. I didn't stop applying. My internship was six months. My internship was six months. And I didn't want it to end. And I didn't have anything I'll fall back on. Although there were opportunities there. They were going to like retain me there. But I wasn't so sure I wanted to stay back there. I think I wanted something better. But whichever way, if that one had actually happened, I would have still like taken it and all. And then I, so I started applying again in places. And to go with the girl today, I got a better place. And I got there as an internship as well. And now I'm not a full staff in the place. And all glory be to God, to be honest. But at the same time, you're going to pray fervently. And at the same time, you're supposed to be open to opportunities. Be ready for the opportunity. Don't just... All I'm saying, right, is that you don't have to know it all. You don't have to have a plan. You don't have to have long-term plans. But at the same time, make sure that you're open to opportunities. You're not just sitting and just looking. You're networking. You're going out there. You're getting yourself ready for whatever comes. And you're just, you know, taking the bull by the own, right? So it's very okay. If you're about to graduate from school or you're in a job you're not happy about and you're like, you're fine. I have a lot of people around me that sort of know it all. Man, I have people that be like, in the next three years, I shall leave this country. And three years to come, they're gone. And I'm like, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> in the next two years, I want this to happen. I want to have certification. I want to have this. I want to have that. And they're doing this, smashing their goals. And I'm like, hey, okay. In the next three, what I want to do? I don't know. And honestly, I'm here to tell you, it's okay if you don't know. Just don't be lazy. Right? <laughs> okay, enough of my ranting and banting. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video was of good use to you, please do well to give it a thumbs up. And then comment and then share with your friends. And please get them to subscribe. If you're watching this video for the first time, so if you're new on my channel don't go without subscribing you see my street face right i'm really trying to keep a street face <laughs> don't go without subscribing again my hearing is from adorn by ife and i have it available at affordable price 1000 i have a lot of nice pieces that i might like to see this is one of them i have this I have this as well. So, <laughs> so thank you for watching. Bye, guys.